Hi, I'm Jack from Make Me A DJ, and in this video, I wanted to take a look at Pioneer's edit mode in Recordbox. So I think it's safe to say that we've all been there when we've been listening to a certain track in our music collection, and we thought to ourselves, well, we should make this intro just a little bit longer, or maybe it would be the outro. Maybe it's a 12 minute track and we want to consolidate it down into six. So what I'm going to do is just show you record boxes edit mode and it's a quick and easy way to make fast edits on the fly and get them back into our music collection. Now Pioneer's hardware tends to have the likes of hot cues and beat jumps and all these other things which can be used to help us in a DJ environment. But if we can do that prep beforehand, it kind of puts less pressure on us when it comes to an actual DJ performance. So let's delve in and take a little bit of a deeper look. So I've currently got record box open at the moment and I've got it set to export mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of the tracks that I want to edit. This track in particular here called Work is only three minutes something long. So that could leave me in a bit of a vulnerable position when I'm DJing because I'd have to sort of mix it in and mix it out quite fast and it would put me under a lot of pressure so i'm thinking maybe we could make the outro just that little bit longer to give us a little bit more to play with and make the track a little bit more dj friendly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the top left and i'm going to set this into edit mode i'm going to drag that into our player and then once we're in edit mode i'm going to click browser and i'll get rid of the browser menu so that we can just focus on editing just this one track so we can zoom in and out and navigate our way around the track. In this case, I'm going to go straight to the outro because I feel that's the point where we need to make this a bit longer. So as you can hear there, the track ends a little bit abruptly. So what we want to do is be able to make this outro a little bit longer. So my thought process behind this was maybe taking parts from the intro and gluing them on to the outro at the end, just to make the track that little bit more DJ friendly and give us a little bit more to work with when we're mixing tracks in and out with it. So I'm gonna scroll back to the beginning, to the intro, and just take a listen to see what bits I could maybe take and glue to the outro. So let's give it a play. Right, cool, so that first four bars there is probably perfect for this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select those and highlight them, and as you can see, the little blue grid has kind of highlighted those four bars, and what we can do is we can either clone, copy, and paste. We can also delete sections as well, as you can see down in the bottom right just here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Copy, and what that's going to do is it's going to add it into my palette, so that's just now there to hand whenever I need it, wherever I need to drag and drop it. And now I'm just going to navigate back to the outro and see the place where we're going to drop it in. I found the very sort of last beat at the end of the, the track. And what I'm going to do is drag and drop this in here now and get that in as our outro. So that's dragged and dropped in. Let's just give it a listen. Okay, cool, so that definitely works, but it, as you can hear, it's only four bars. We need it to be, you know, a full phrase and then maybe copy and paste that phrase again. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. I'm going to drag another four bars in. And once I've got that extra four bars, I can select this eight bar region. Just click copy and hit paste and it'll copy and paste those in. At the end, as you can see, that's added in there now. And that's job done, pretty much. Our outro is a little bit longer and a little bit more DJ friendly, so happy days. So copying and pasting audio is really, really easy to do. But equally, if we ever wanted to delete any part of the track, we can just highlight the region that we want. And all we do is we just go down to the bottom left-hand corner just here, select this bin icon, and we can delete any bits of audio. So instances where you might want to use this is maybe where you feel like you're losing your dance floor a little bit and you want to get things happening a bit quicker. You can do by using this method. So another little trick we can do is focus on just this last bar just before the drop and try to hang the audience there a little bit just to create that little bit more tension before the beat comes back in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight this little region just here. 
I'm going to click clone a few times just to repeat that section, almost as if we were activating a loop on a CDJ during a DJ set. Let's give that a little play and see what it sounds like. <laughs> so as you can hear there, a cool little cheeky trick that we could use just to kind of trick the audience. And obviously, during a DJ set, you would probably use that in conjunction with some effects as well. So hopefully this starts to highlight for you how quick and easy you can use edit mode without having to delve into any complicated audio editing software. And now that we're happy with this little edit that we've made, one thing we can do is just go up to the top, hit this save button. And from there, we can save it straight back into our DJ collection, ready to use in our next DJ set and export it into one of our playlists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click that button and I'm just going to rename it to work, make me a DJ edit. So just choose the directory where you want to save it and it's there whenever you need it, ready to play and add to your playlists. So all in all, Rekordbox is a really simple tool to use in edit mode whenever we want to just get those quick edits done. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and learned something along the way. And don't forget as well to like, share, comment and subscribe and check out our YouTube channel over on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon as well when you subscribe just to make sure that you get a notification every time we upload a video. There's loads of good content on there ready for you to check out and also we've got loads more coming in the future. Don't forget as well we are a DJ school that's based in Manchester and we offer one-to-one -one courses for DJing if you want to up your skills and take your skills to the next level then you can do and you can book in with me via the website just here if you head to www.makemeadj.com. And don't forget, if it's music production that you're into, we also offer services for that as well, either one-to-one -one or we can do it remotely via Zoom. And we also offer mix down and mastering services as well. So make sure you check out the website and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Take care.